All right, we are outside of the Mondo booth at Funkoville. They have a lot of fun exclusives at this year's Comic-Con, uh, as well as some upcoming figures that were revealed here at the con. So we're going to take a quick tour of the Mondo booth, and uh, we'll see what they got. All right, we're here with Hector from Mondo Toys. How's it going, Hector? <laughs> we've, got, we've got our, uh, you know, X-Men the Animated Series line. We brought our Sabretooth to show how big this figure is. Dang. He's massive and still available, or the regular edition still available on our site. So, um, but this is my favorite thing at the show, besides Man Bat up here. Uh, we're premiering our Omega Red. I think, I'm not trying to be biased, but I think, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a best, it's, a best, it's the best Omega Red that's probably ever going to exist. Oh, ever, ever. As a figure, Even Matt sure. Hatter said it. Yep. <laughs> yep, you got to trust him. I trust him. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then we have our Logan, that's our Comic-Con exclusive. We still have some left, so uh, you can head over to Mondo Shop and grab one. Amazing. Beautiful. And we got some Motu stuff. I can turn those around. We have our Trap Jaw. Classic. So we have our trap jaw. This is going to be our PowerCon exclusive. Uh, exclusives. It's going to be super limited, um, and he comes with a new head. How many pieces? He's going to come with. He's going to come with no, every. Oh, no, uh, units. Total? It's going to be a thousand. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So um, comes with a new head, new arm, and he has the other, the old, the other arm and the other head also, oh, cool. but painted in the same red kind of color oh, scheme. Cool. Okay. So yeah, he comes with just about everything the uh, the original figure had except for the Cronus parts. Okay. Awesome. And then Prince Adam, which was. A fun thing that we just decided to do for the show. We thought it'd be a lot of fun to do a Prince Adam. We went for all in with a fat, with the full fabric outfit. People are loving the fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the meme head. Uh, he comes with a lot more than this, obviously. And I think there's like 50, literally 50 left on Modoshop.com. So Damn. that's it. After that, he's never coming back. At least. Oh, there's, oh, a, there's yeah. breaking news. He's yeah. done. He'll be never, done. Ever. Yeah, never. he's done. <laughs> Oh, um, and then we'll, obviously we have uh, here's Panthor. Oh, oh, I got him. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll hold this. You get him. Yeah. While Hector grabs Panthor, <laughs> let's get to the real entertainment. Me, welcome to the Me Show. Look at this. Yeah, let's hold it. Look at that. Holy. Here, we can talk about it. Oh, th thanks. Okay, so yeah, here we have Panthor. He's gonna be releasing this fall. Um, and yeah, this is one of my our favorite heads. So we had to had to display with the giant horns. But this thing is crazy. Uh, this is basically final production sample that I'm holding. So this is what it's going to look like when you get it in, at your house. The texture on the armor is something that you really don't get to appreciate in the photos. Those little we even subtle. Released official photos yet. Oh, there you go. That's why. Here we have our uh, Skeletor Deluxe with, a, with battle armor. You get little magnetic stuff a uh, little uh, bat he's emblem. Sold, so don't even yeah, he's gone. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. gone. He's gone. He's <laughs> gone. This one's a, will never come back. <laughs> um, but uh yeah, so yeah, Panthor awesome. is going to be super sick, super excited. You no, know, he sold out for the show. How quickly did he go? Oh stuff. man, it went in like like 2 days. Two days it was before. gone. Yeah. 1000 units gone 2 days. It's Like look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go vertical. <laughs> he has to go vertical. Uh, oh my god. But yeah, dude, he, it's amazing. He comes with uh, these arms swap out, yeah, and so they yeah, so they swap out with the, with the, yeah the other uh, articulate yeah. one. The fingers articulate. You can get really cool poses with it. Uh, he comes with a bunch of heads. It's awesome, including the transformation head, yeah. which is freaking yeah, creepy. Yeah, so, cool. so awesome. This is the dream. Thanks so much for everybody who picked it up because now we know we can do even crazier, bigger stuff for this line. And there are some big crazy figures left to do in the Batman yeah, line. What do you think? Uh, we got to do Clayface, oh, Clayface, yeah. immediate, Killer Croc immediately, oh, yeah. fast track it. Um, and then here at the show, I'm, I'm super proud of this. This is the first ever, oh, Man Bat too, but first time Mask of the Phantasm, the Phantasm has been available at, in 1-6. Yeah. It rarely gets any love. Yeah. It's got this, like we got a little base here that this clips off and connects to these. Um, she's going to come with a bunch of swappable accessories. We oh, have, yeah. You, you want to tell him? Yeah, this, yeah. Is a, this is big news. Uh, swappable torso. Yes. Featuring. On purpose. On pur yeah, yeah. This, in case you see two torsos and one's flopping around in the box, this time it's on purpose. <laughs> so you, Jay, don't panic when you I see will, it. I'll, okay, I'll, here. Yeah. So, yes, two torsos with the Andrea portrait. The full swappable torso. And the hardest part of this figure was make it look intimidating with all this like simple because she's mostly mostly in shadow like yeah. the whole movie yeah. right so we had to try to convey that but making sure her legs look cool with yeah. 
the Andrea portrait yep. and torso on and without it. So it was trying to find a nice balance, but I'm so stoked on, on Phantasm. And we've got, um, these are going to be fun. We call them, we're calling them uh, Batman Noir. It's just black and white repaints of our original figures. They're, these are going to be really limited to like a thousand units each. So just something fun we're doing in the fall. Uh, you know, these these do well. We're going to go to Joker. We'll do Harley. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. And you got Bats as well. Yeah, we've got Batman. And then here, we got a good start here. <clears throat> we had our... Uh, two left, last two one. Two left, last one. There's only one left. The only one it's left. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's done. It's gone for the show. <laughs> yes, we only we we, uh, we we had this drop online a few days, a uh, few yeah, like last on Monday. Yeah. It was gone, and now we have we brought uh, our leftovers. This is it. Wow. Um, this sold out too. Our our Biolante. Got a spark on it. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things to see it like just a blank, the blanks with the glitter with no paint on it. Like it really shows off like yeah. the sculpt and then just the glitter effect looks really cool. Here, I'll talk about these and then we can go. All right. So we, these are our cherry blossoms. We're doing these every year, basically. Every, every time we do a new Godzilla or Godzilla character in this soft final line, a cherry blossom is going to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It glows in the dark. Uh, people love them. These sold out pretty fast. Uh, and then we have... Jesse Hernandez, Urban Aztec's Godzilla design, which is crazy that it even exists. Yes. It's kind of like Peter's stuff, where it's yeah. like the fact that Toho allowed this to be it's official yeah. um, is is crazy, oh and and uh, it's just really a testament of what like Mondo does and like yeah. the trust that licensors put in us. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and then Peter, I'll let you talk about your yeah. stuff. I mean, nobody cares about these, right? I mean, uh, now to the main <laughs> portion of the show. No, the, the, but back, uh, piggybacking on what Hector was saying, the whole secret sauce of Mondo is our relationships with the artists, and being an artist who started working outside of Mondo as a contract for hire, getting to do posters, basically concepting these before, yeah. and then now translating them into 3D, it just shows what we do. There's so many great toy companies who make so many great figures, and the only way to stand apart sometimes is to find these new visions. So working with Jesse, being able to do my figures like this, it's insane. I mean, a block print, a linoleum block print style figure, and then getting to see it in the metallic colorway. So there's like so many ways you can explore those sculpts. Super exciting stuff. And those will be coming out for pre-order in the fall, right? Yep. In the fall, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm tagging back Hector back in. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah. the yeah. picture, Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping over it's the like rope. Doink and Dink versus uh, <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Um, oh, let's do it. Yeah, so... We've got Nada here. Um, we are so we're with Universal. It's uh, they've let us, you know, do one six. These look incredible. And we're gonna start exploring the more realistic one six with yeah. fabrics and all of that. Hot toys, uh, watch yeah. out! <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're really excited to explore this with Universal, especially especially like Universal Monsters and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So wait, is that like open up? E.T., Back to the Future, all Universal, or more of the monsters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Got, yeah. yeah. This guy's trying to get uh, breaking news. He got breaking news. <laughs> I can't con gotcha, I, you know what yeah. <laughs> you know what I can say that it's we've we've got it all okay, so all right, okay. no specifics but we've got it all awesome. so yeah it's gonna be we're, we're definitely excited about this whole potential here with Universal nice. and Megan was like the first this is gonna be the first ever collectible for it yeah. so it's I think we're, I'm happy to be like the first to bring bring some, bring Megan out and like yeah. hopefully people really respond to it people have been yeah. flipping out over it so yeah. I'm really excited it looks great Thank it you. looks great Thank you. Thank you. And then, um, you know, we have Battle Cat, yeah. and then uh, yes. we've got Ayn. This, this guy's is our, gotten a lot of love. Yeah, yeah this is our prototype. But So we're going to do uh, soft vinyl. He's going to be completely soft vinyl. Mm -hmm. He's going to come with his little VR set. He's going to have his little his little bowl that says Ayn on it, <laughs> and he's going to come in a little suitcase. Oh, my God. So you're going to open the suitcase. You have a little handle. It's going to be, he's going to be super cute. He's going to come in, a, you know, we're going to have a Mondo, a uh, couple Mondo exclusive colorways. There's yeah. going to be uh, a couple other colorways with some other vendors. But, uh, yeah, we're really excited. It's going to be, awesome. be cool. You want, to you want me to show you how Mad Hatter responded to seeing this? How? Okay, he's like, okay, so you got these. Oh, that's getting my money. That's getting my freaking money. And then you got a dog, some kind of dog. I don't know what this is. Tell me in the comments. It's a dog. What kind of dog is it? Some dog. I don't know. A dog. And then people are like, 
It's freaking Ein. It's Ein, man. It's Ein. He's a famous dog. Yeah, exactly. It's famous it's Corgi. A dog. <laughs> oh, Magneto sold out. Woo! Oh, oh it's gone. It's gone. It's yeah, completely it's gone. gone. It's In real it's time. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, and then uh, these guys. Oh yeah. Fun. How can we, how, uh, how, how are we gonna? For, okay, let me pick this up. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. So he's gonna be soft vinyl. He's not one six. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be a big soft vinyl yeah. boy. Um, but dude, we're so stoked on this. Our our uh, in house artist Tommy Hudges, uh, he asked, "Can I make a juggernaut?" And I said, "Yeah, man, go for it." A couple days later. He shows me this sculpt, no way, yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, we're doing it, dude. We're we're going. Let's go, yeah. finish it up. So awesome. I printed it, painted it as soon as we could, and yeah, it's gonna be really cool. He'll have like some swivel articulation yeah. in the hands and the arms and the and the feet, but we're gonna do exclusive Colossus version. So okay. that's exclusive news to you. Wow. This is Jim Lee's favorite. Yeah, Jim Lee came by the booth and yeah, saw this and like this. flipped out. Yeah, it's yes. awesome. Yeah, he's he's it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Um, and then we're still working with James Groman, who we did a man thing with him last year, so we have Werewolf by Night. Someone came by the booth and said there has been no Werewolf by Night product yeah. ever for toys. Oh, like may shocking. Maybe like a long time ago, yeah. but this is the first one in a long time. Wow. So this is Jim's like take on it, very, very much inspired yeah. by the, you know, the comic. So yeah, we're excited for this one. It'll be Parrot next year, man thing. <laughs> awesome, that's awesome. Yeah. Last, what, what do we got? We've got Godzilla here. Yep. And uh, here, let me let me grab this so it doesn't break. Here, I can hold it. I'll hold oh, the mic for you. Thank you. This is James Gorman's Godzilla. So this is a prototype. It's going to be much okay. bigger than this. Okay. It's going to be like 12 inches tall. The yeah. tail's going to be way out here. So and this sold out already. But you know, this is one of the. This is a dream for James to work on. Yeah. So I'm happy he got to work on. It. And again, with Toho, letting us read yeah. like really, you know, redesign their characters. It's really awesome. Yeah, that's cool. And then last one, real quick. I love this demo This guy's fun. Look, you see the ass on dirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the booty. Yeah. So this is James's James's take on the on the Demogorgon. So much fun. Yeah, man. And we the first thing I, the first thing I told him I was like, you know, there's a lot of De Demogorgon like toys yeah. out there right now. You know, Nothing they're like they're fine. But let's do something that really just you know speaks to the show like like push it as far as you can let's include accessories little nods we did the the christmas, lights. The christmas lights we have the bat in the in the yeah. back from season one when he and this is when he steps on the bear trap in season one so we took a lot of nods and just included it as part of the figure to tell a story um so yeah we're excited the detail on this is crazy oh, it's incredible like all like the paint on every little tooth is perfect right yeah james james painted this one personally himself oh, so yeah and then, so yeah, the, 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 the butt of the convention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Dart. So uh, Dart's going to be part of the Mondo exclusive. And, uh, okay, cool. yeah, so he'll come with, with Demogorgon. And uh, it, he'll, it'll, we're going to do a bunch of different colors. Yeah. And each one will have a different Dart color also. So. All right, well, there you have it. The Mondo booth, <laughs> Peter and Hector. Thank yeah. you so much uh, for touring us around. Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, can't wait to see uh, what comes next. Oh, there's a lot, good, a lot of good stuff coming. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks all. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.